the universe we live in is enormous. It is complicated and non-linear. We are trying to develop a seamless history, from the first fractions of a second after the Big Bang through to the present day, 13.7 billion years later. Ever since the first WMAP satellite results in 2003, cosmology has become a precision science, driven by new data. We are exploiting surveys of millions of galaxies, to understand our place in the universe. At the same time, we are pushing forward cosmological theory, simulating new scenarios and looking for signatures of fundamental physics. Using the Cosmos supercomputer, we are trying to understand the origin of the universe, what it is made of, and where the galaxies we observe today come from. The Cosmos Consortium is a national collaboration of UK cosmologists where uh, about 30 faculty members uh, with many more users who exploit the Cosmos supercomputer which is housed here in Cambridge. The present system is an SGI ultraviolet Altic system powered by Intel Xeon processors and it's a beautiful multi-core shared memory system Cosmos Computer started in 1997 and since then, in 14 years now, went through eight major upgrades. Since 2003, when SGI moved to power their computers with Intel processors, uh, we've been uh, working with Intel uh, using their power tools, compilers and performance tools uh, with a great success. High performance computing is very important to the field of cosmology nowadays because of data and this data is in such a great quality. It's impossible to try to make predictions that fit the data by just using pen and paper. In 10 years ago, I think that is a, a prejudice against science done using computers. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that people look at it as a black box and think that equations are more elegant. If you solve this with beautiful sets of symmetries and equations, but I think people are turning around. Um, and I can say that because 10 years ago when I was a graduate student, I said, I don't want to do computing. One of the most compelling recent ideas in cosmology has been inflation. It predicts that tiny quantum fluctuations in the very early universe were the seeds from which galaxies and all the structure in the universe emerged. The fact that we can understand the complex growth of structures in the universe is a triumph of supercomputing. We literally start the particles with the initial state predicted by inflation and simulate the evolution of the universe from these merest particles all the way to galaxies. The early universe is the ultimate laboratory for testing our most ambitious ideas about the fundamental building blocks of space, time and matter, from atoms to nucleons to quarks, and even perhaps to strings. The confrontation between cosmological models and new astrophysical data offers us new insight into the nature of the hot Big Bang and gives us clues about the unification of all the forces of nature. So the use of high-performance computing has allowed us to make repeated computations and make predictions from our theory, which is statistical. So in, in other words, our theory makes statistical prediction. What it tells you is that if you start with A, I give an ensemble of B. And the use of large supercomputers allow to make many identical calculations with very tiny differences and allow us to actually match that to our data. The equations that we have to explain the universe is so complicated that to solve it, you just need very high performance computing.
Why a performance computing is so important in cosmology because of one word, data. In the past two decades, cosmology has emerged as a data-driven field, with many successful space and ground-based experiments telling us more about the universe. The deluge of data has allowed cosmologists to construct increasingly sophisticated mathematical theories, with sufficient precision to capture all that is being observed. We need to create realistic mini Big Bangs on the Cosmos supercomputer, to fast forward to today, and then test if the predicted universe matches the latest observations. Without supercomputers like Cosmos, we would not be able to reach out and make contact between theory and the real universe, to test whether our ideas are really right. With the amount of new data coming from experimental cosmology and astrophysics, ever more complicated theories need to be put on test on the computers. The new generation of Intel processors are so much more efficient uh, with the Intel Xeon processor 7500 series, we saw from two to five times uh, performance increase on some applications. Things in the computer science move so fast. As a physicist, we are not, we are not able to keep up, well, I'm not able to keep up. We like to be able to use the power of high-performance computing without having to learn all the technical details. You know, we don't want to be computer scientists, we want to be physicists. It is increasingly difficult to put the underlying physics onto the computer. I think that the future high-performance systems will be very much hybrid, hierarchical parallel systems. And they will go from the multi-core of today to the mini-core systems of tomorrow. As it currently stands, I would have to modify some of the code that I have to take advantage of the fact that we're moving from the multi-cross to many cross, but I just want it to run, I want it to get the right results. The less time that I have to spend fixing my code, the better it will be. Well, ideally, we would like to have a system where users don't have to program at all. We would like them to be able to express their physics in a simple language. Looking forward, uh, I'm very confident that we could get all the science there is out of huge data sets like the Planck maps of the cosmic microwave sky. And uh, there's intense public interest in questions about the origin of the universe and uh, we want to continue to answer those questions and it's the responsibility of universities like Cambridge to continue to endeavour to do so. It would be difficult to find a uh, a longer history of satisfied customers in high technology. As Intel takes care of technology, the hardware and software, it allows us scientists to take care of what's really important, the physics. We have made spectacular advances in recent decades, understanding the nature of the universe and its fundamental structure. Many people, myself included, hope that we will soon find an ultimate theory, a theory that could be written down on a finite number of pages. In principle, this would enable us to predict everything in the universe. However, we will never reach the end of our quest for a complete understanding. Even if we find an ultimate theory, we will still need supercomputers to describe how something as big and complex as the universe evolves, let alone why humans behave the way they do. The Cosmos supercomputer is an SGI ultraviolet system, powered by 768 Intel Xeon cores. I should also mention that my wheelchair computer has always been powered by Intel, so maybe that's 772 cores altogether.